Isaac Mizrahi has made a name for himself, of course, in fashion, but now he's working hard designing a new talk show. And the great news is he joins us live from Los Angeles this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Hi. I'm dying to hear about this oh, new it's show. it's a pleasure. It's seamless to me. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, yeah actually it does. And you spoke of confidence. Yeah. So I've got to ask you, what would be your one word of advice for women? As far as being confident, one what do we One word need? of advice. Uh, you need, it has to be three words. How uh -oh. about shoes, <laughs> hair, bra? I've got to go Shoes, shopping hair, now. Bra. I've got to go shopping. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. You don't. You probably just need. To, well, actually, yeah. I mean, you have to try things on. Is the thing. You have to try things on. You have to like um, feel good about things. Feel good. Try to feel good about your hairstyle and your shoes, and then get the right bra. And that's all you really need: shoes, hair, and bra. As a you, girl. You got a lot of celebrities on the show. Um, is there somebody in particular that you'd like to talk to that you never have, or is there somebody in your mind that needs an extreme <laughs> makeover? You're gonna get him in trouble with this one. <laughs> Love me. Why are you doing that? Well, Brittany had a good reason. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm never going to take a side. I'm, I'm not going there. Let's, let's just go back. In the wake of the Brittany and Kevin drama, the question of prenuptial agreements has reared its head again. You don't think and it's reared its head big. In fact, more and more Americans are turning to prenups. But is it right for you? The big question, who gets custody of their beloved pets? Hopefully, that was in the prenup. If not, on Friday, I'll look at how the courts weigh in when it's time to decide who gets man's best friend. Linda. Thank you, Kelly. Laura, as you can see, the party is definitely hopping here. And I don't know, but I think St. Pete just might be giving Ebor a run for their money. Some of the crowd might be a little young, but they sure do know how to bring in the new year. Coming up on Action News. Plus, it was a great day for a parade, but someone forgot to tell these people Halloween is still 10 days away. And welcome back. Halloween is still 10 days away, but hundreds of people in Chicago are already in the spirit. Today, they dressed up in their best costume for the Windy City's annual Halloween parade. But this parade was a little different. As you can see there, there were no floats and no only one band. That's because the attention is on the costumes. And the spectators were encouraged to dress up and join in. Well, you know, the weather looked pretty good in the parade for Chicago, but what do you think it looks like uh, in the Bay Area? I know, Linda, there was a parade up here all day because this weather was so good. Okay, but once that front gets through, ooh, early next week. Big 40s chill, and 50s. No way, can't wait. wait. But <laughs> wow. Hey, thanks for making Action News your choice for news. Remember, we're always on at abcactionnews.com, and we'll see you back here at 11. To let you in on a little secret that, I mean, this is information that many estate planners will charge you thousands of dollars. So it's free here on ABC on Friday. This is Florida's wedding gift to you. So go get a pen, write this down, because this is a story you can actually take to the bank. There is a very lengthy disclosure that highlights the risk involved or their methods actually violate the law. And for someone with bad credit, these promises seem to be their only way out. It's important to look at what you owe versus the car's actual value, and that's not what you think it's worth. And keep in mind, most insurance companies only offer it on new car loans and leases, so So limited. how much does this type of protection cost? Wow, it can range anywhere from $300 to $500, and you can get it right from the person who you buy your car. Oh, we don't sell illegal fireworks, they're all legal. Well, I went on the website, mm. and these are what I picked up, and it's hard to decide. I mean, can you decipher which ones are legal and which ones aren't? They all look dangerous to oh, me. I'm I can't telling you. <laughs> we got we got bottle rockets. We got traditional fireworks. Just take a guess. Uh, which one? Maybe the one? biggest one. That yeah, one. Actually, everything is illegal except for traditional sparklers and your smoke You're bombs. You're kidding. They're all, all illegal. All of this. Normal firecrackers. Huh. You've got your questions. Kelly? Now that you know this is one of those topics that affects all of us and that's why it's so it popular. It doesn't matter how much money you have mm -hmm. or how old you are. Estate planning is necessary because no one wants to leave important decisions up to the state. So today we're answering viewer questions like this one from a viewer named Alma. Kelly, if I put my house in living trust for my son, am I protected in the state of Florida? Alma, the protection that you're referencing is the Florida's homestead protection. And recently the courts have split, meaning there are conflicting rulings on whether homestead property, which is placed in a living trust, is protected from creditors. So, bottom line, my advice, until this major issue is resolved, you should not put your house into a living trust because you could lose your homestead and that means your house will not be protected from creditors. Now, the next question comes to us from Deborah Gomez. She asks, if your loved one has a will and dies, what do you do with the will? 
do you have to take it to the courthouse or just follow the instructions? Deborah, if your loved one dies with property in their name alone, then the will does have to go through probate. And you are required by law to file a copy of the will within 10 days after you receive knowledge of the death. Many of you ask if it was okay to have your wills notarized instead of using the two witnesses like I said. And the answer is emphatically no. And I'm gonna say it again for any of you guys that miss it, no. Florida law requires that you have two witnesses. But if you take that extra step and you have it notarized, which is always a good idea, you've created something called a self-proving will, which means that when the will goes to the probate court, your witnesses are not required to appear in court to validate the will. Instead, because all the signatures were notarized, you're automatically considered that your will is valid and it can kind of expedite the process. So it's always a good idea. Linda?